Hi everyone, this is Rachel Colton of RNC. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a macrame pacifier clip using a diagonal clove hitch pattern. I'm going to show you two different options for making the pattern. And I'm also going to show you two different options for making the loop at the bottom that will hold the pacifier. When I'm working with the rose colored string, I'll be showing you how to make a single clove hitch knot in the center to connect the two sides. And I'll show you how to make a gathering knot at the bottom. When I'm working with the mustard colored string, I'm going to show you how to make a double clove hitch knot in the center to connect the two sides. And I'll teach you how to make a hangman's knot for the loop at the bottom. The reason I wanted to show you two different options for your diagonal clove hitch pattern is that there is a slight difference that might be important to you. When you're doing a single clove hitch knot in the center, the two sides will appear more even. The reason for this is that you'll end up with four knots on one side and five on the other, which is only a difference of one. When you make this pattern with a double clove hitch knot in the center, you'll have four knots on one side and six on the other. So that's a difference of two. And you might be able to see that the side with more knots will always look longer. The difference will be a bit more prominent with that design. So this is just a style preference. You can choose whether to do a single knot in the center or a double knot in the center. And you can also decide which loop you prefer at the bottom. To complete this project, what you'll need is your pacifier clip. These you can purchase at a craft store like Joanne Fabrics, or you can buy them in bulk on Amazon. You will also need your string or your rope. I'm gonna be working with three millimeter single strand cotton string that I purchased from Naroma Studio in Dusty Rose and Dusty Mustard. And of course, you're going to need a sharp pair of scissors. So for this first pacifier clip, I am going to be using three pieces of string and they've each been cut to about 86 inches, which is the same as about 218 centimeters. So what you need to do to attach your string to the pacifier clip is you need to find the two loose ends of your string and line those up. Then just follow your string along till you get to the center, which will have a loop. So you're gonna take that loop at the center, you're going to feed it through your pacifier clip and pull it back behind. Then you're going to take the loose strands and you're going to feed those through the loop, pull them all the way through, and then pull down on the loose strands to tighten this knot at the top. And this knot that you have here is called a lark's head knot. So then you need to do the same thing for the remaining two strands. Line up your loose ends, Find the center, which now has a loop. Feed the loop through the pacifier clip. Pull down in the back. Pull the loose ends through. Then pull them down to tighten the lark's head knot. And the reason I'm using three strands for this project is because that's all that will fit across the pacifier clip. If your string is a different size or your pacifier clip is a different size, you can use more or less depending on what you need. So now that we have all three strands secured to our pacifier clip, we are going to start our pattern. So for this one, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a diagonal clove hitch pattern. And in the center, I'm going to use a single clove hitch as opposed to a double. 
So I'll show you the difference between a single and a double at the center. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to take not the outermost left string, but the next one toward the center. This is the string that's going to come toward the center on a diagonal and have the other knots going around it, the other strings making knots around it. So I'm going to hold on to this one, and then I'm going to take the next string toward the center, and that's the one that's going to be making the knots. So it's going to come behind the string that I'm holding at a diagonal. Then it's going to cross over in front. And then it's going to come around behind and through this loop that we have over here on the side. And then I'm going to tug down a little bit before I pull that up to the top. That's the first half of your clove hitch knot. We're doing a double, so now we're going to repeat it. So the string is now over here on the side. So it's going to come around in front. Here's this loop now on the side. It goes around behind and through the loop, then tug down before you pull it tight at the top. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're not working with the outermost string yet. We're working with the one next to it toward the center. This is the string that will have the knots made around it as it comes toward the center at a diagonal. So then you're going to take the string next to that one toward the center. That will make the knots. First it comes behind. Then it goes around in front, so you have this loop off to the side, comes around behind and through the loop, then pull down before you tighten to the top. And then you repeat, it's over on the side now, so bring it around front, behind and through the loop, pull down, and then tighten. So now you have both sides done and you have to connect the two sides in the center. Now it doesn't matter which direction you connect it. I'm going to continue with this right side just for consistency. And on this pacifier clip with the rose colored string, I'm going to do just a single clove hitch knot in the center to connect. So I'm still using this string from the right hand side at a diagonal. I'm going to take the next string toward the center, which happens to be the one I was knotting around on the other side. It's going to come behind, over in front, behind and through the loop, pull down, and then tighten up. Now, since I'm doing a single clove hitch knot in the center, this string's gonna be a little bit loose, but we're gonna be doing more knots underneath it, which will hold that tightly in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do another row on each side, this time using the outermost strings. So I'm gonna start from the left, Taking the left outermost string, this will be coming across at a diagonal as the other strings knot around it. So I'm going to take the next string toward the center. It's going to come first behind, over in front, behind and through the loop, pull down, and pull tight to the top and then repeat over in front, around behind, pull down, 
and tighten up. Then you're going to do it with the next string toward the center. Over in front, around behind, pull down tight, and repeat. Okay, so now I've reached the center. So I'm going to switch to the other side. I'm going to take the right outermost string. This will come across at a, at a diagonal and have the other strings nodding around it. So you're going to take the next one toward the center, comes behind, over in front, behind and through the loop, pull down, and then tighten to the top, and then repeat in front, around behind through the loop, pull down, pull tight. Then do that with the next string. Double clove hitch knot. And then once you reach the center, you're just going to do a single clove hitch knot instead of a double. And that'll be a little bit loose until you get to the next row, which will hold it tightly in place. To complete this pacifier clip, all we need to do is we need to continue this pattern until we've reached our desired length. Now, I actually have a fabric pacifier clip that I like to use to compare my length to. If you don't have one of these, I'll measure it for you now so you know how long it is. So from the top of the silver clip to the bottom of the fabric is about eight and a quarter inches or 21 centimeters. So that is how long you wanna make your macrame clip. And then of course, we'll be adding a loop onto the bottom, which I will show you in a few minutes. So for this next pacifier clip, I'm using again, three millimeter single cotton string. This time I'm using a mustard color. And I'm actually going to make the strings for this one a little bit longer. So I'm using strings that are about 100 inches long or 254 centimeters. And again, I'm using three strings secured to my pacifier clip with a lark's head knot. Now we're going to start the pattern the same way we did with the rose pacifier clip. So to start, we're not using the outermost string. We're using the one next to it toward the center. And I'm starting on the left. So I'm going to take the next string toward the center. And I'm going to make my first double clove hitch knot in front around through the loop, pull down, and pull tight. And then we go over to the right, making a double clove hitch knot toward the center. And now, this time to connect the two sides, instead of using a single clove hitch, I'm going to use a double clove hitch. So I'm continuing on the right-hand side, taking the next string over, making a double clove hitch knot. So on this one, the center knot connecting these is a little bit tighter, but here on the left you have two knots and on the right you have four. So the pattern's going to look a little bit different. So for the next row, we are going to start working with the outermost string. I'm gonna start on the left. 
I'm going to make a double clove hitch. And then using the next strand over, making another double clove hitch around in front, behind through the loop, pull down and up. So on this one, you've got the double and the double, so that's four knots on the left. Now I'm moving over to the right. So double, clove hitch, another double clove hitch, there's the four and the four and now I'm connecting the center with another double. So now I have the one, two, three, four knots on this side, one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. So you'll always have a little bit longer on the right than on the left. And I'm just gonna continue this pattern until I get to that desired length again. And then I'll show you how to add the loop at the bottom. And I'll show you the difference between the two patterns where you have the single clove hitch connection in the middle versus the double in the middle. When you have your design completed to the desired length, what you want to do is you want to add the loop for the pacifier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my center strings and I'm just going to fold it up to create a loop that's about four inches or 13 centimeters. Now to make sure that this doesn't get pulled out of my gathering knot when someone's putting the pacifier on, I'm going to tie it to the other center string. And to do this, I'm just tying a knot like I would in my shoe. It's a little tricky to get started. So what you want to do is take the loose end of your loop and you're just going to wrap it around behind the other center string. And then you're going to pull that other center string around behind the loop. So you've just twisted them over each other. And you want to try to keep this knot as close to the bottom of your design as you can so that you can hide it with your gathering knot. So try to hold that twist at the bottom of your design and then take the loose ends of those two center strings that are twisted around each other and just tie a regular knot like you do when you're tying your shoes. The tricky part is to hold it close to the top, or I'm sorry, the bottom of your design. And then just pull that tight. And then what you wanna do is just trim the ends of that so that you make that knot as small as you can so that we can hide it easily with our gathering knot. So to make that gathering knot, what you need is you need another piece of string that's about 24 inches or 61 centimeters. This is a good place to check your scrap bin if you have made other projects with this color. So I actually like to flip my design backwards when I'm making my gathering knot, because you will end up with a little bit of fray, but you can also tuck that in, which I'll show you as well. So take one end of your piece of string you just cut, and you're gonna line it up parallel with your design, sticking up over the top of the design about an inch. Now this one, you're also going to make a loop. It doesn't have to be as long as your pacifier loop, you want it to be a little bit longer than your gathering knot will be. So holding on to this loose end with your thumb, 
you're going to take the longer end of this piece of string and you're just going to start wrapping it fairly tightly around all the loose ends starting at the bottom of your design. And you want to wrap it enough times to cover that knot that we're trying to hide from the top of our loop. So about one, two, three, four, five, six. I have it looped around about six times. Make sure that it covers your knot. And then once you come to the end of your wrapping, you're gonna take the little loop that you created with this string, you're gonna put that loose end through, and then you're gonna take the loose end at the top and you're gonna pull it and it's gonna pull the loop and the opposite loose end inside of all those strings that you wrapped around. And once you see that it's gotten toward the center, just tug on both ends to pull it tight. Then this loose end at the top, you just wanna trim that as close to the knot as you can. You'll get a little bit of fray. If you don't like that, what you can do is just take your scissors or some other tool and kind of stuff that fray back down into the gathers. Now the other loose end, if it's long enough, you can include that in your fringe. So what I do for my fringe is just take about maybe an inch or so of all your loose ends. Be careful not to cut your pacifier loop but take all those other loose ends and you're just going to cut straight across about an inch or so down. So that is your finished pacifier clip and you've got this loop at the bottom that will hold your pacifier. And this is the one made with a single clove hitch connection in the center, which I think makes the sides look a bit more even. So what I'm going to show you with this pacifier clip, which I have some longer ends, I'm going to show you another option that you can use for making your pacifier loop. So this one is called a hangman's knot. And you need a bit of extra string at the bottom to create this knot. That's why I made this one a little bit longer to begin with my strings. So what you're gonna do is take one of your center strings. You're going to create a loop at the bottom, and then you're going to also create another small loop at the top. So it's kind of like you've made a figure eight, a bigger loop at the bottom and a smaller loop at the top. Now the rest of the string you're going to use to wrap around all the other strands. But instead of starting at the bottom of your design like you would with a gathering knot, you're gonna start at the bottom of where you would like these to be wrapped. So, let me find that loose end. Okay, so you're gonna take your loose end and you're gonna start wrapping wherever you'd like the bottom of these strands to be gathered. So just like with the gathering knot, you're wrapping around all the loose ends. Going up toward the bottom of your design. And once you've wrapped it about five or six times, I've got about five on this one, you're going to put the loose end through the top loop. Okay, so you pull the loose end through this top loop. Now you're gonna pull down on your bottom loop and it's gonna start pulling the top loop and the other loose end actually your only loose end, inside of the wraps. And once it gets to about the center again, you can tug on the two ends to pull it tight. 
And now you have your pacifier loop here and you can just cut off this little piece of extra at the top. And if you want, you can tuck the fringe in and then you can take the rest of your fringe and trim it off at the bottom and then you're finished this pacifier clip.